So you're a new seller to eBay, but you want to learn how to sell? Very important lesson. Number one, learning about item specifics. You can learn everything you want about eBay, but if you don't know about item specifics, you won't sell anything. And that's what this video is about. So watch, pay attention very carefully. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It's very important for me so I can help you. Let's get into the video. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of your review channel. I do appreciate you tuning in for this one. So basically what I'm doing with this video is basically doing a follow-up from a past video, uh, basically about item specifics. So if you sell on eBay and you're learning about item specifics, watch my other video. It'll give you some more information about item specifics, how important it is to fill in the blue dot. I call it the blue dot of death. So a lot of people didn't realize that if you don't have all the information filled in, that you will not be searchable whatsoever on eBay. They basically toss you out. So it's very, very important that you fill in all the information. So I just wanted to give you another example and just do another, basically a mock listing to show you what I'm talking about. Um, so watch the other video. I'll leave a link on top just for that specific video. Watch that video and it'll really help you out. Um, if you don't understand about the blue dot of death, basically it is the item specifics. They all have to be filled out 100% really for you to be seen. You can be free shipping, you can be a penny, you can be a dollar, you'll never, you just will never be found. But definitely watch that video, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But I just want to go over it one more time, just to show you, it doesn't have to be clothing, it could be anything. Really, really important, okay? Here's a, an odd example, okay? Here's a, a Kodak carousel projector, right? So you can do custom labeling if you know about that as well. So custom labeling means basically you can put it on a specific shelf, and only you see it when it sells. So if you have an inventory system set up, if you have a store or an inventory system, you can actually put it on a shelf. So I have different shelves in um, for my business. <clears throat> so say for instance, I want to put this on shelf 15. So when that sells, I don't have to search through 20 different shelves. I know it's on shelf 15. I know it's a Kodak carousel. I know where it is. So that's just one tip. So another thing is if you have a store, the store categories. So that's another thing. If you have a store, if you, if you don't have a store, you don't have that. But if you do have a store, it's great to have categories. So this is all different categories that I created, and it's all in here. So for this specific thing here, photography, right? Then we have projectors. Okay, so projectors, we put it, put it, in, we put it in the projector category, and it just helps keep it organized. And then you can just see where your sales are coming from and get a, keep an idea of trending. You know, what's selling electronics, clothing, makeup, cosmetics, whatever. Um, so that's what that is for. And then here, they, so the UPC, that's usually before eBay used to make you uh, fill it in, usually with the UCP or, or something. Now they don't really require it as, well, require it as much. Um, so most of the time I just do, do not apply. Hey guys, just want to take a quick break here to say thank you very much for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe. It does help support my channel and keeps me doing what I'm doing. Let's get back to the video. That's what I usually do. I'm always put the condition in, used, new, open box, whatever it is. Pot's not working. And just for another tip for you, <clears throat> if you have an item that's not working or broken, believe it or not, people will buy items that are broken. So that's another good uh, tip for you. So just because it doesn't work, doesn't mean it's not worth anything. So check that out, do the research. Okay, I always put sold as you see it. I always put a, a pet in smoke-free home because we don't smoke here and we have no pets. But if you do, leave it out. Um, so I'll be put any information here that it has whatsoever, anything specific, you know what I mean? If it's broken, say it's broken. If it doesn't work, say it doesn't work, whatever. Be very, very specific, okay? Another thing, photos. At least three, okay? Minimum. Depends what it is. More, the better, okay? So something like a projector, maybe put five, six, the angles, back and forth, up and down. If it works, if it runs, take a shot of that, and things like that. So that's important. So now we're getting into item specifics. And this is what this video is really about. So basically, so you want to put the brand so we know it's a Kodak, okay? And we know it's a projector. So we can just say film projector is fine. Or you can just even just say projector, which is fine. Uh, model, whatever the model number is, it's up here, right? So we just, I can just copy that. And I'll put it right down. So now we have the most important things done. But now we have the dot. So this is the same video as before, but I'm just giving you another, a little bit more information because it's not just about clothing or shoes or really anything. So even if it doesn't have a dot, eBay is basically implementing 
this strategy across everything eventually. So if you don't put the information in now, you're going to have to go back and edit it again. So what they're going to start doing is they're going to start actually putting in the blue dot basically in every single category and every single item. So do it now. Fill it in as much as you can. And if you don't know what it is, okay, if you have no idea, like this, like this here with this uh, projector, for instance, okay, it's not a ceiling projector. It's really not in here. So you can type it in if you want to. But if you don't know what it is, I always do. And A, not available. And you fill it in and see what happens. The blue dot starts to get filled in. So you can see that. So if you don't fill these in at all, you'll never be seen. Super, super important. Manufacturer, you know it's Kodak, but if you don't know, again, and A, you don't know, let's just say. And this California prop thing, I don't know. I always say I don't know, but I don't, it's something to do with. I think, I'm not really sure, but whatever. So you fill it in and you get the blue dot. So even if you don't know what it is, don't leave it blank, okay? And don't make up something. If you don't know, put NA, not available, doesn't apply, whatever you want to write, write something in there. Never leave it blank, because if it's blank, watch what happens. You say, I don't need, I don't care about that. Look at, you don't have the blue dot. And if you don't have the blue dot, it's the blue dot of death for you. You won't never sell your item. So let's put that back in. Okay, so the blue dot is back. Hopefully you can see that. And sometimes you have, so I've been noticing this as well. Another, another different thing I've noticed. So additional options, right? So this here, you don't have to fill in because it's not affecting the blue dot. But if you do a research on, the, on your iPad or your phone, the blue dot says, it says item specifics are not complete. So you're getting, I'm getting a different, I'm getting a mixed message here. So what I'm starting to do now, and I probably suggest you do the same thing. If you know it's in the United States, if it's made, this is, this is made in the United States, fill it in as much as you can. Okay, again, the NA thing. So fill everything in, it doesn't matter. This is probably 1970s, you can just fill in it. It's black, wait, you don't know, you don't have to know. But make sure everything is filled in. Because the blue dot, even though the blue dot's filled, it doesn't matter because they're gonna, I, I get a feeling they're gonna make this all mandatory, okay? So do it now, fill it in, don't leave it blank. It's a very, very important thing. So I wanted to just update the video with this information here. This is the most important part. Additional information is coming up here. So when I look at my iPad or my phone, I'm noticing item specifics missing, it says. I'm saying to myself, well, no, it's not because I filled in the blue dot. Then I go back and look at it, I'm saying, well, the blue dot's filled, but the iPad's saying it's not done. So it's a little confusing. I'm still getting the sales. I'm still getting the, the click-throughs. I'm still getting the, everything's working correctly. But I do have a feeling that they're going to make you fill all this in. So I'm just giving you a heads up. Make sure you fill it in. I don't care what you put in here. Make sure you put something in here. But make sure it's, it applies to the item. Just, you know, just say NA if you don't know. And most of the time, we really don't know everything. Just say NA. That way you're all set. But if you do know what it is, fill it in. Custom bundle, you know if it is or isn't. That's simple. Just say no, it's not a custom bundle. Lens magnification, if you're not sure. Again, NA. So that's what I suggest. And just continue filling it out. And in this description item is very important. So just put what it is. Projector, whatever, working, has a dent. Same thing. Also put that information in here as well, up here. Condition description. So this protects you because eBay does back you up. Not like the other platforms where they don't back you up, eBay does back you up. And that's why eBay is so valuable for end users and sellers, okay? Because it protects both sides of the aisle. Very important. Buyers and sellers. Okay, so you put your information in here. Okay, fixed price or uh, auction. Do your research and look at, I have some other videos there as well to look on for doing research. Okay, very important. eBay gives you all the tools, everything you need to know. Research, you can get pricing, and you watch it's another video I have on it. Take watch those videos and you can see not too high, not too low. You play the middle. You'll always sell your item if you don't over you have to buy it right and don't overprice it. And you will sell your item. Pretty much that's how that works. So that takes care of that. Fill in all your things that you need. Okay, fill everything in correctly. And if you're doing managed payments, another new thing eBay's doing now, they changed everything over and now they're on managed payments. So if you're familiar with that, and if they bumped you off not they bumped you off, but if, if you're off PayPal and now you're on eBay and now you're on managed payments. So my suggestion and my tip is for you is do not empty your PayPal account and do not do that. Because if you empty your PayPal account and you've had some sales on PayPal and you have an issue or a return, 
you're gonna have to refund them on the on whatever they paid on you have to refund them so if you empty your paypal account out and you took all the money out guess what they're gonna charge you credit card they're gonna make you pay for that so just don't empty your account out wait to 30 days wait till you know, the last sale is done wait 30 days or 60 days whatever your return policy is on those items then you'll be all set then you can close your paypal account down if you want to or you can empty your account and that's a very important tip a lot of people don't know about that and what else and that's it okay guys so i just wanted to make a quick video basically on how quick it is but really really important about these item specifics really really important that blue dot is so so important and it changes every time you change a category so here's another category so let's do something i'll just give you a quick idea okay so parts and accessories let's click on that category so every time you change the category it changes the item specifics okay so now you have more things and they keep adding and taking away and sometimes there's nothing there and sometimes there's a lot there it all depends sometimes this is not here at all but there are some information so always fill in whatever's there and if you don't know it's always na not available that's what that means in case you didn't know so for the clothing it's so and so important and just watch the other video that i have online you'll see you know people are searching think about a store i have a blue uh short sleeve shirt size large um whatever um so people look like that look you know they search that way so item specifics are so important because you'll put blue large um whatever brand things like that so item specifics are one of the most important thing that ebay has implemented and you have to follow along or you will not sell your item okay guys that's it for me so i hope it just gave you some more information about this don't forget to fill this in and don't forget the extra okay anything extra you don't have to add anything but anything they have here fill it in don't leave it blank please because you won't sell your item okay that's it for me guys so if you have any questions or comments leave below watch the other videos that i have on ebay um and if you have any if you're a new seller or if you have any questions on how to, to list or anything else leave a comment below i'll be able to help you I'll, I'll get right back to you i always do please don't forget to like share and subscribe it really does help me grow my channel. I do appreciate that. I hope you learned something today. And that's what it's about. The community helping the community. And that's what it's all about. So, okay, guys, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope you learned something. Most importantly. All right, guys. And I'll see you at the next review.